there are several power options for rural properties. You could connect to the grid and pay a power company for the power you use, or you could generate it yourself. This is typically done with a petrol or diesel generator, some renewable source such as wind, hydro or solar, or a combination of the above. Connecting to the grid is usually the preferred option. This is because it's just easier. When you're not involved in your power production, you don't have to worry about using less power than you generate. The only thing you do have to worry about is how big your power bill is going to be at the end of the month. Speaking of the bill, the price per kilowatt hour is very competitive compared to what you could achieve yourself. However, in some areas, this price can be quite high, but usually not high enough to justify going off grid. So why do people go off grid? It's the cost of connection. Getting connected to the grid in rural areas can be very expensive. This is for several reasons. The main reason comes from the fact that your power bill will never pay off the cost required to get that power to you. Many rural properties fall into this bracket, with them having to front the cost of this power infrastructure themselves. Getting connected rurally can cost anywhere from $5,000 to $400,000 or even more. It all depends on how much infrastructure on your property needs to be upgraded or fixed. You can usually get a quote for how much this is going to cost from your local lines company. We've linked a handy resource that shows you the line companies by region. If the quote for your cost of connection comes back quite high, about 10k or more, it's worth weighing up other options. So let's have a look at those now. A common off-grid option is a petrol or a diesel generator. This option is by far the cheapest up front for the peak power and the on-demand energy that you can get out of it. However, the more you run your generator, the more you're going to have to refuel it and service it. If you're living a long way from town, this can add up to be quite a high running cost. You also have to keep in mind the noise. And this is why generators are typically used for infrequent short periods of time on applications such as backup power sources or just temporary power sources. For full-time off-grid living, you're generally going to see a system that has a component of renewable energy in it. Common sources of this will be solar, hydro, or wind. Renewable energy systems cost a lot more upfront than generators, however, over the long run it works out to be a lot less, especially for full-time usage. So the best way to reduce your upfront cost is to reduce your load requirements and to use the power when it's available. The best way to reduce your load requirements is to avoid using high power, high energy electric appliances, such as electric ovens, electric heating, or electric hot water cylinders. Swap them out with gas or wood alternatives. Another big part of your cost is going to be batteries. Because you can't control when you generate power, you need batteries to store it. If you shift your usage to times when you're generating that power, you don't need as many batteries. When comparing the different renewable energy systems, wind and hydro tend to be a little bit less common than solar. This is mainly because one, it's harder to set up, two, you need specific environmental conditions for them, and three, they do have more maintenance considerations. However, if you do have the right environmental conditions, they can be just as effective as solar and a great complement to it. Off-grid solar is the most common and usually the most cost-effective renewable energy setup. So the sky is really the limit when it comes to solar, but typical systems are priced between five to $50,000. Unlike other off-grid solutions, Solar doesn't really have any maintenance costs, just keep your panels clean. But like other systems, it's got batteries, and batteries degrade with usage, so you have to factor in battery replacement costs down the line. If you compare the cost of battery replacements to your power bills over the same time, they work out to be about the same. So for most cases, when your cost of connection quote is greater than your solar quote, the solar becomes the more cost-effective solution. Off-grid solar is what we do here at Grid Free. We also specialize in giving advice. So if you want to know the ins and outs of solar, or you have any questions about your specific situation, we'll be happy to talk. Get in touch and we'll point you in the right direction.